Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and this week I'm on the road all week, so we're going to do a quick podcast today. We're going to talk about the BTU and tons of refrigeration. So it is a BTU. BTU stands for British Thermal Unit. The BTU is a unit of heat. So let's say you have one pound of water. We'll draw a little bucket with one pound of water in it. And let's say this is at 60 degree Fahrenheit. To raise the temperature of this water one degree to 61 degrees would take one BTU. The BTU is the amount of energy needed to raise or lower the temperature of one pound of water by one degree. So let's move this up out of the way. Next, let's talk about the BTU per hour. You often see this written as BTUH. This is the amount of heat in BTUs that flows from one system to another over the period of an hour. Think of it as the number of BTUs of cooling the HVAC system can provide after running an hour. So let's move this out of the way and talk about the ton. What is one ton of refrigeration? You hear this used all the time. One pound of water changing temperature by one degree is a pretty small amount of energy when compared to how much you need to cool an office or your home. So you hear about tons of refrigeration, like a five ton air conditioner. A ton of cooling is what would be required to melt 2,000 pounds, or a ton, of ice over a 24 hour period. When one pound of ice melts, it absorbs 144 BTU. So for 2,000 pounds of ice, that'd be 2,000 times 144 is equal to 288,000 BTU. Now let's divide that by 24 hours and make a little more room. And you get 12,000 BTUs per hour, and that is equal to one ton of refrigeration. So let me move this out of the way now and let's cover a couple handy rules of thumb. First of all, you'll want about one ton for every 400 CFM. And in a typical office, you'll have about one CFM per square foot. So say you have a space that's 10,000 square feet. You know that'll be about 10,000 CFM. And if you divide that by 400 CFM per ton, you get 25 tons of refrigeration for this space. It's a handy rule of thumb. Let me bring everything back up here. So calculating the BTU and airflow needs of a commercial building isn't quite this straightforward and simple, but these are really handy rules to use to get a ballpark number for what you need in your HVAC system. So that covers BTUs and tons of refrigeration. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.